will get out of one toxic relationship and just take a break from relationships, you know, work on ourselves and then start dating again. And unfortunately, we find ourselves in an, another toxic relationship, but we things are going so well and we have so much hope this time and we took a break from the last one and some things are different but we're still ignoring those red flags that are there so i'm going to talk to you today about seven early signs of a toxic relationship so that you don't find yourself continuing to uh, repeat the pattern so number one if your partner has a lot of heavy ex baggage like they're still uh, not over their ex they talk about them a lot they refer to them all the time especially if they're putting their ex down saying that they're crazy and they're blaming their ex for everything that is one sign that uh, the relationship is no bueno uh, second one number two if he lies to you all the time like even little small things and you you catch him and you're thinking why would you lie about that? Like, that's so little, that's so insignificant. Healthy relationships are built on open, honest communication. I mean, saying like, oh, you know, I don't, like if it's something about food or dinner, like something small, that's different. But if you're catching them lying to you, that's a sure sign that this is a toxic relationship. Uh, number three, love bombing. This is so, it like runs rampant in toxic and unhealthy relationships. This love bombing just constantly, uh, telling you what you want to hear, giving you what you want, buying you gifts, taking you on trips, taking you out. So this is emotional manipulation. If this person is doing this to give you what you want, they're purposely putting you up on a pedestal because they're making you reliant on them. And what this does, it allows you and causes you to be the only source or it causes them to be your only source of of happiness and feeling good about yourself. So this actually makes you be codependent on them, which is uh, it, it, you, a lot of us are codependent. But if you're seeing this, especially early on in a relationship, this love bombing, uh, wanting you to go to them constantly to be the source of like feeling good about yourself, watch out. Uh, number four, is that four? Yeah always monitoring you and what i mean by always monitoring you like bombarding you with text messages hey babe what's up what are you doing what are you up to who are you with you know what are you doing later they like won't leave you alone if it's just text after text after text if they're following you on social media like instagram and facebook and snapchat and tiktok or like whatever you're on these days and they won't leave you alone they always have to know what you're doing what you're up to who you're with that's a big sign of a toxic relationship so another warning there big warning uh number five if they isolate you so if they make you feel like you always need to ask for permission before like going out with friends or attending events or going to see your family especially a lot of these toxic and unhealthy people will keep you away from your family they'll isolate you from your family and that keeps you running back to them again to uh, to to need them and it also from escaping because when they isolate you you feel like you have nowhere to go so watch out for that number six the hot and cold method like if they're back and forth hot and cold they do this to keep you on this leash that they have you on so if they withdraw from you when you upset them but then you do something nice because you feel bad and then they come running back to you because you did something to make them happy this is that hot and cold and this is how relationships turn into ownership so when they have you on leash and they're constantly hot and cold to like tuck you big 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 no no like sign of a toxic and unhealthy relationship get out of it asap so the last one is frequently hitting that reset button when you're fighting and then you're breaking up oh my gosh i just can't do this anymore like i deserve better all these things that you know are true but they con you into saying or you maybe get conned into saying <clears throat> babe let's just start over like let's you know we can go talk to somebody we can get therapy let's just start over i love you uh they want to hold on to something that's no we seem to hold on to something that's no longer working because we're afraid that no one else will love us because that's what they've told us. They've told us no one else will ever love you the way that I do. And we believe it. So staying in a relationship like this actually ruins your chance of finding this real love that you want, of finding a relationship that you deserve. So if you find yourself in this toxic and unhealthy relationship, always fighting, constantly hitting reset, saying, let's start over. Uh, 
big red flag. Don't paint it white. It's red. It's red. Don't paint it white and say, oh, it's not that big of a deal. If your intuition is telling you, um, you know, these seven things, if they lie to you, if they love bomb you, if they're always monitoring you, isolate you, the hot and cold method, and then you feel like you're frequently hitting reset in your relationship. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> That's my only advice. Get out. Um, there's going to be a lot of damage done from a relationship like this. So uh, please, you know, do do the work that you need to do. That's what I specialize in and helping people heal after having been in these toxic and unhealthy relationships. Um, yes, sometimes it's with family. It's not always a, a personal partner or lover. And that's where boundaries come in. And a lot of us, you know, we have codependent tendencies and Boundaries are just something that constantly gets stopped over. So please reach out to me. I'd love to talk to you, chat with you, a 15 minute call, and we can talk about working together to heal from all of these things because it does cause a lot of da damage. And you certainly don't want to get out of one of these relationships to just jump right into another one. So thank you guys for watching. Um, please reach out to me. I'll put a link in the comments below to schedule a 15 minute call to connect and chat. Have a great day.